Hey, good Thursday morning, May 2nd, 2019, rise and shine, let's go people, enjoy some coffee with me, uh, yesterday I had a comment that why am I drinking a mug with uh, nothing on it, well, you know, the mug I had yesterday had some political writing on it, and although I've used it before, I didn't want to start any trouble yesterday. I was just in a very calm, passive mood. Today, my mug is this, all right? That's all it is. It's uh, number one grandpa. And we are all number one grandpas. All of us male cohorts out there, or whatever you want to call it, okay? So rise and shine. Let's put some down. Ah, good stuff. Well, I hope you had a good night last night. I'm listening to uh, iHeartRadio today, uh, uh, Jimmy Buffett radio station. Pretty darn good. If you guys are paired heads and you like uh, Jimmy Buffett music, check it out. You know, search it on iHeart, Jimmy Buffett radio. It's not bad. What's playing right now is Come Monday. What a great old song, you know. That was one of the his first hits, uh, the live version is much better, but then again, that's my humble opinion, you know. I like live versions of songs because uh, they're, they're just, uh, they got a lot of emotion in them because the artist is singing to the audience, you know. When you're in a room, uh, a studio and singing, it's, it's kind of tough to, to get all psyched up. But uh, that's neither here nor there because... Uh, even the studio version, it became a, a mild hit, if you want to call it that, okay? All right, enough of the Jimmy Buffett, all right? And his birthday is in December 25th. There we go. There's a studio version of uh, Margaritaville, but it's not quite the same as a live version. <laughs> Birthdays today, ladies and gentlemen, Dwayne Johnson. He's 46 today. <coughs> um... David Beckman, all right, he's 43, and uh, uh, let's see, uh, uh, James Dyson, the inventor, uh, the Dyson, uh, uh, what is it, vacuum cleaner, I guess, you know, um, it's his birthday today, no age on him, though, okay, and uh, people that are born on May the 2nd are down to earth, sensible, and hard workers with a strong will of... Uh, uh, accomplishing things, okay? So if you want to look up uh, celebrities' birthdays on Google for uh, May 2nd, have at it. That's it right there. And uh, there's many other birthdays. Uh, there's one, uh, Bam Bam, but I don't even know who Bam Bam is, you know? So, um, today, uh, I'm supposed to be going on to the golf course uh, for uh, 2 o'clock time until... Uh, late this uh, late this evening, but uh, I'm looking on a storm tracker for today, because um, uh, tomorrow's going to be a washout. You know, that's a given with all these uh, thunderstorms. But I looked at today, and it says uh, it's going to uh, reach 55 today. All right. Now, bear in mind, I'm supposed to be there for two o'clock, which I usually get there 15 minutes, uh, 25 minutes early. All right. Um, but it says uh, thunderstorms are possibly due at 2.15. <laughs> you know, really? <laughs> so uh, we got to watch that real close, all right? Uh, since I go in early like that, that's called Lombardi time, uh, for those of you that don't know that, all right? Because, uh, you know, Lombardi from uh, the Green Bay Packers, all right? Uh, his theory was, if you're 15 minutes early, you're already late. <laughs> so, I try to get there at least 15 minutes early, if not earlier than that. My my neighbor, Tim Murray, God rest him. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Um, his start time uh, throughout the years has always been around 7 o'clock, and they're changing that uh, I told him to go talk to his union about that, but that's neither here nor there. That's more politics. But uh, his start time is usually around 
7 a.m. And, God, he's always been there, uh, like, quarter after 20, after 6, you know, in the morning. He's always there early. And, and his theory is, he told me that, that his father told him, always leave early enough for, God forbid, if you have a flat tire, you can fix the flat tire and still get to work on time. So, you know, that's a good way to think of things, too. So, you know, uh, these people that come rushing in at uh, uh, five minutes bef before start time and then just uh, hit the floor running, oh, I couldn't do that. I got to ease in there and have my coffee. And, of course, you see my uh, uh, good morning videos from Fort Indian Town Gap when I was uh, employed, employed there. Uh, I'd always... Uh, have time to do my video and uh, ease into my day by having my coffee. And as you can tell by now, I'm just babbling on so you can enjoy your coffee, okay? <laughs> Cheers to Nostrovia. Uh, Riley Howell. May he rest in peace. God bless his soul. That's uh, truly an American hero. Uh, the uh, college student that... Uh, Gave his life to save so many others, you know. God bless him. Let's say a prayer for him and uh, for his family, okay? Keep that uh, in your thoughts and prayers today for Riley Howell and uh, uh, the Howell family, all right? I don't know. There's not too much I can say about any of that, but... All right, on to other notes here. Um, what else do I have? That's about it. Uh, ah, the Eagles are playing right now um, on Jimmy Buffett Radio. So check it out, you know. Um, that's about all I got today, you know. My boy, uh, Sir Prince, he's in the second living room down there, and uh, he didn't even get up this morning to go outside and, and do his duty, you know. He come out here w when I got my coffee, and uh, he sat there and, like, uh, looking up at me and saying, okay. Dad, where's my breakfast? So I got his breakfast ready. I, I nuked it up just to, to take the chill off of it. You know? <laughs> and then I, <coughs> excuse me, I put his uh, little bit of hip medicine in there for his hips. Because that's uh, one of the traits of a, a, a Sheltie. Uh, they get a, I think it's called hip dysplasia. You know, um, sorry if I'm not pronouncing it correctly, but uh, I give him his hip medicine. Of course, he's a senior, you know, but uh, it'll help with his uh, hip dysplasia. Uh, that's a trait of Shelties. So anyway, he was sitting there and he kind of gave me this look like, okay, where's my breakfast? And uh, of course, when I'm getting my coffee, uh, I nuked his breakfast and I put his medicine in. And I stirred it up real nice. I put it down on the floor. He ate his breakfast kind of looked at me for maybe a, a quick second and right into his uh, second living room and he's sleeping already. Now who's trained who? Really, let's think about that people. Any of us that have pets, cats or dogs, all right? Mainly dogs, but you know, cats are there too. We think that we're trained in all, all these uh, adorable little pets? Nah, we're not. <laughs> Okay, folks, that's about it, all right? I hope you have a great day today. Um, let me know what it's like in your neck of the woods. Like I said, it's going to be approximately 55 degrees today and around 2.15 uh, p.m. We are in, in store for possible showers here in central Pennsylvania, okay? Cheers, Nostrovia, and Lachaim. Have a great day today. I'll talk to all of you later on, okay? Send me a private message if you would like to. All right, I'll answer it if I can. If you have any questions or comments, all right? And if this is the first time you're seeing my video, by all means, please hit that subscribe button. And right next to that subscribe button is that little bell. Hit that bell. That way you'll be notified every time I do a video, okay? And as I've said in the past, I try to do these videos 
uh, in the morning so we can all ease into our day and enjoy our cup of coffee together, all right, Monday to Friday. And occasionally on Saturday and Sundays, I'll do my road trip videos with uh, my little Sheltie, Sir Prince, you know. That's about it. I hope you're enjoying this video. I hope you're easing into your day and having your coffee or favorite morning beverage. And uh, thanks for having me in your house or, or uh, your office or your uh, motor home or camper or around your campfire. And uh, enjoying your morning with you. Thanks again for having me. God bless you. Take care. Thank your God for another day on earth. And say a prayer to your God for peace on earth, if you would. All right, folks, I'll talk to you later on. God bless you. Smile now. Always smile. I'm going to punch you out in three. One. Two. Come on, smile. Here we go. Three.